Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamers Grotto. My name is Omni and we are playing Burly Men at Sea. I had this game on my PlayStation for a long time and I never played it. I have a lot of games on my PlayStation that are small like this one I believe. I believe this one's small. I don't know how big it is. And I open it up and this is what I get. So I'm going to be playing these smaller games on top of my bigger games that I'm recording like The Witcher. So, yes, let's get into it. Uh, Burly Men at Sea. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, oh, okay. I can do that. Nothing. Just a couple of fishies. Oh. Uh. Um. Oh, okay. Circle is interact. Okay. Circle. And then I can also hold the right trigger. Okay. I guess that's how the game operates. I just gotta push buttons. Oh, what's this? calls one of the fishermen some kind of rubbish is in the nest in the nets it's a message in a bottle a treasure map useless sea chart grumbles the hasty one nothing on it but our own island a map to a map cast to sea without purpose must be more of it argues the steady one the brave one uh, brightens a mystery eye. Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. I don't know anything about this, but it sounds like a couple of early men at sea fishing. Okay. So I'm interesting interested in this game. And yep, three burly men. Oh, well. Eh. This is an interesting game, so. Alright, so R2 moves me left and right. All of us at the same time. This controls the analog. This. Alright. Okay, so all the buttons are interactable. Wait. Okay, so everything is interactable. I am now in the barn. Why? Bravebeard slides over to the chewing cow. You, you wouldn't know anything about a mysterious map, would you, old girl? Okay, I can literally interact with everything. Already interesting. What about you? Why don't we talk to this dude? A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about them with these uh, landlocked, le uh, landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have some answers. So I guess we gotta go to the coffee shop and talk to somebody. Where the hell is the coffee shop? Is it this? Is this home, I guess? Uh, hold on. Oh, there's more to the house. Um... Oh, we're in the coffee shop, I guess. We just had to move right more. He be wanting a drink of the... A drink and a seat by the fire, I expect? The men cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Well... All voice acted, sounds like. 
and interesting music. I like this game already. The old man soon approaches with a steamy tray, single original, uh, origin, sp origin espressos. Roast it myself, he declares. Uh, they stare blankly. He sighs, coffee, relaxing. He sighs, coffee, relaxing. The men sip cautiously, eyes widen. Now, what have ye found? He chuckles and s uh, at their stunned faces. Observations, that's... Observations, that's all. Folks come in with questions, and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steady beard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old men deliberates deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm. It seems what ye have here is a variety of map is is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. I brave beard leaps from his seat and pounds steady beard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard's flatly eyed Hasty Beard Remarks hastily, Beard, flatly eyeing the old man. The old man grins a skep skeptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. Reading! This is a whole reading uh, thing. Okay. We're going on an adventure, I see, with this. He turns to walk away. Ho oh, there! What sort of tales? Calls Bravebeard. So I'm guessing you, Orange Face, is Bravebeard. That depends, replies the old man. On what sort ye choo- On what sort ye chooses. He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. Where'd he go? Uh, I'm guessing brown. The brown beard is steady beard. Neat. Guess we're going. On, guess we'll be going then. Uh, thanks for the suppresso. <laughs> he tries. There's no answer. Okay. Eh. Can't interact with that anymore. Okay. That does nothing. Let's get out of here. I'm just trying to interact with literally everything, but... Nothing that way. We just keep going to the right. To the right. Wait, 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 wait. Eh. There. What's in here? Bakery. Do that. Well, if it isn't the brothers' beards, what are you, uh, what can I do for you fellas? Study beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about adventurous deeds, heroic feats, maps? Adds Brave Beard. Mystery. All right, I think. Your brave beard, the guy with the blonde beard, your hasty beard, the one with the orange beard, and your steady beard with the brown beard, I think. The loaf shaped uh, woman continues working silently for a moment, then pauses up, pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? Afraid I'm not the imaginative type, boys. We're old friends, the, or the ordinary and I. She concludes returning to. Okay. So, we're all going on an adventure, I'm guessing. I have nothing to say about this game. I've just gotten to know it. 
So, what's in here? Hello. Uh, the man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt you for a moment, shout Steady Beard. See, we found this map in our nets this morning, and and do you know what happened to know anything about the unknown? Or heroic feats like tales and such? Asks Ads Braid Beard, hopefully. There's a brief pause and the man stops hammering. He grunts, they wait, and it appears he has nothing further to add. Well, you were helpful. Alright, so I guess no one knows about any heroic deeds over this direction. And nothing over that way either, so I guess we go on our boat. So let's set sail on adventure then. Maybe I should have asked the, um, uh, the young boy again before I set sail. Sea rats! They call them sea rats too! I call those damn things sea rats! I call pigeons sky rats, and I call seagulls sea rats. That's amazing! I thought I was the only one that called them that. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. You're telling me. Those little bastards like to snag every little bit of food you have. Mischief away! Uh, grins Brave Beard, losing the sails. Oh! Well, sea rats also, uh... It is dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. That's... Creepy. Hello there. Great barnacle one. Yeah, a great barnacle one. Uh, hello, little... Children. Join us, friends, for whence do you come? Ask one of the nymphs. We were, sail uh, we were sailing for adventure and a heroic feats with the colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explained Steady Beard. It really is, uh, it's really very discouraging. I'm not going to be giving voices in this because I have no idea how to give any of them voices. And besides, I already gotten this far, so... A man can't probably have an adventure at seas indoor, adds Brave Beard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave, become the wave. Advise a second nymph. Uh, advises a second nymph. Nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding in approval. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you advise us to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. Great Barnacle One brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. Yeah! Into the belly of a beast and to death, afterlife. But those unwilling, uh, unwillingly may depart through the Fountain of the Faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? Can't, uh, she can't fit through that. You're not? Once the Great Barnacle One reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate uh, the gate that all may go through as they came in. Through its mouth, so it'll regurgitate us. Mm. So either we can escape with no ship or wait for this creature to open its maw. The nymphs nod grand grandly. Time flows quickly in the concept... Uh, contemplation of the great one's splendor he who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire raid beard's face shows alarm i think we'd uh prefer to look around first 
Nymphs begin to sway, but all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One, Great One's love. You must seek the enlightenment of. Found it! Interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire before them. That works. Yeah. Can I interact. Oh, this goes back. Uh, can I interact with the nymphs again? The men fidget for a moment as Steady Beard clears his throat. If you don't mind our intrusion, we'll wait here with you fellows. Sit, friends, for those who are right, no mind, I... Uh, there's a silence. Uh, great, great one. Things. Alright, so we're just sitting down. Fishies. Wait. And interact. It did nothing. What does this do? A few barrels left empty by the morning's interrupted work now float free. Besides the boat, the men consider themselves in the torchlight. If we were the puzzle-solving sort, observed Hasty, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll, they'll float, but not so well as our ship. Uh, Bravebeard scoffs. What are we, landsmen? Uh, what are we, landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. Yes, but... we also drown. Alright, nothing over on that end. What if I interact with them again? Oh. Interact with the ship? Nothing. I wonder, what if I waited it out and now we're all in barrels? Alright, we'll just wait it out, I guess. Got no choice. You cannot await the place of promise closed in this manner, friends, or is it uh, the departure you seek? Escape, I'd call it, growls Hasty Beard. We're feeling mighty faithless. There's a uh, gas from the nymphs. Then you must go at once. Step through the door behind us and pull the cord to summon the fountain. But, barrel clothed men take a step to evade the remaining conversation. Wow, we are just impatient. Um. If I nope. Uh I don't know what I'm doing. Oh well, I guess I'm going that way. Gross. Uh this is the only way I can go. Hasty Beard is fiery with excitement. Summon that fountain and let's be off. Brave Beard grumbles eloquently from his barrel. Steady Beard looks worried. Yeah, me too. Woo! Lift off! Wooden trousers. Nice. Now we swim. Which way do we go? Apparently to the right. It looks like there's land that way too. Tiring, the barrel, barrel clothed men settle back to drift with the current. Uh, may as well see where this takes us, observed Steadybeard bleakly. 
Time passes. Bravebeard begins to snore radicalously from behind. Time passes. More time passes. Um. Hello. Ship ahead! The shout <laughs> awakens Braybeard, who eagerly overturns his barrel, resurfacing in a moment later to cough out. It begins! What the delivery? exclaims Hasty Beard. It's death! But we didn't die yet. The grim cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. Greeting, please climb aboard if you are. Uh, for your complimentary trip to the afterlife. Great, we died. Ah, well, replies Steady Beard. Thank you, but we'd prefer the long way. There's a long silence. The figure is masked, but the men feel distinctively that he is sulking. At least he heaves a desolate. Su At last he. he says a desolate size you will not willingly forfeit your soul he pleads uh it is quite painless and would uh at last be promoted from this apprehensive issue a apprent apprentice issue rowboat another silence follows then he continues de uh, despairingly there must be a race uh, at this hasty beard's face cheers significantly maybe who maybe you would like would be so kind as to lose no of course not he sighs again deeply so death really wants us to die we race through the cliffs of despair he explains mournfully if the three of you pass me at any point I lose if I take the lead, however, unlikely, I don't lose. Meaning you win. Uh, I had not thought of it that way, but I suppose that would be the case, yes. Without waiting to confer, Hasty Beard sets off paddling furiously. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I gotta click. Click, click. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh. Oh! Bye! All three of us passed. I was just clicking on, uh, the Reaper, and it worked. Really very sorry for scuttling your promotion and all that, offers Steady Beard. It's not so bad, tries Brave Beard. You've a boat, and that's nice, scary mask. I do have a nice mask. Oh, and that's a nice, scary mask. I do have a nice mask, sniffs the muffled voice. Great, well, goodbye, calls Hasty Beard, paddling away. The others join him. Wow. This is a very interesting game. The long way. Okay. Keep going. It's over here. I can't do anything. After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. Its course seems to be drifting gradually left. Never seen the sun move like that, Bravebeard muses aloud. What's it up to? I have no idea. It's the work of magic at this point. Steadybeard looks worried. 
I feel as if uh, it's more serious than a wayward son. Did you know uh, the wind? I can't seem to make up. It can't seem to make up its mind. I far worse realizes Hasty Beard. It's current. Uh, it's a current we're caught in, and a mischievous one by my reckoning. Adds Steady Beard. His voice is growing more tense. Uh, we're drifting into a circle faster by the minute. Bravebeard shouted for the. Uh, shouted their name fear. Shouted their fear. Their names. Wait. Bravebeards shout names their fear. Mailstorm. Oh, they're in a maelstorm. They're in a cyclone. From high above, the water is accelerating. Swirls is unmistakable. The men paddle furiously, but the wine in vortex is in uh, inescapable. They are carried deeper through the against the rising wall of the water. Oh 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 oh. What if I? What if I? Oh. Eh. I can't control this that well. Wait, wait. Can I do something? Eh. I can't do anything. Whirling faster as it narrows to the maelstorm, swallows the barrels and drags the men from the from them into the deepening darkness. Is that game over? Sounds like it. Into the deepening darkness. Narwhal. Jellyfish. How are we surviving this long? Us burly beard folk must uh, hold our breath really long, really hard, long. I don't know. We have a lot of breath. Well met, bearded travelers, the voice, uh, deep. I didn't read it all, I accidentally pressed the X. Well then, hello. Uh, hello. Streams, strammers, brave beard, odd. The absurd... The absurdity of underwater speech only adds the wonder of appearance on his, apparent on his face. You've seen much this day, she continues smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all. She peers at them, at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you, as if your heart seek to these paths. Another day awaits. Hasty Beard clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am. We've no longer any vessel with, uh, with which to seek them. Lost at sea, she was. The silvery, the silvery laugh ripples through the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But you do not. Uh, but do not be troubled. That is which. Uh, that which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips away, slips silently away into the darkness. I have no idea what's going on! In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. And yet, yeah, bearded travelers. Now we're at the ocean floor. We can now breathe underwater.
And uh, we seem to be going where? Crab, crab people, crab people, crab people. Oh, we're reaching the surface. We're alive. Death didn't claim us. Well then. Can't interact with them. That's that. Penguins. Sun. That's about it. Hello there, little penguins. You guys can't fly. Eh, I want to see what would happen if I just interacted with them all. Oh, is there a puzzle? Oh, there seems to be a puzzle. Maybe. Maybe. This thing is super sensitive. Whatever. I'm done with them playing around with them. There's probably a puzzle there and I just can't solve it. A moose! The hell is this? I don't... Okay, there's a house. What's inside the house? We just barge in. Uh, apparently we're back here. Thought you'd find your way to that door eventually. The old man greets them. The familiar... Uh, the familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. The men shake their heads. Still have the map, he questions. A steady beard nods, silently passes it to him. Ah, so now more of it's filled in. I see you managed to find those adventurous deeds, and uh, did you meet her? I, Bravebeard, uh, I, Bravebeard, is the first of the brothers to speak. That magnificent she was, like a shorm, of a, like a shorm. Shorm? Is it your Shnor? Shorm? Shorm? Of old tales, but she told us we've more to see. I, it'll be here when you're ready for another go, the old man gestures to the books. Uh, those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all with paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. You see, you see, he continues. 
what's left unwritten is one story that can fill others. If ye've the path, uh, if ye've the inclination to sail again, have another look at that shelf. Well, early men at sea, steady beard reads aloud. Not a bad title that, but what's all this number? numerical business on the spine and how did he gives them a sly look that's another mystery for Yves the courtesy for it and one last thing continues the old man I don't mind ye uh, mind telling ye now that I was the one who sent your bottle to sea I have another uh, to be tossed out for the next curious soul will ye do the honor Sure, I guess. We toss another one out at sea, and the adventure begins. Well then! I guess that's how the game goes. There's many different paths to take. I'm pretty sure I didn't get them all. Well then, I guess I'll call that an episode, and we'll continue trying playing through this game again. See how many paths we can make, adventures we can take. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe to stay updated on more of my content. And uh, remember that Gamers Grotto is home for all games to all gamers, so don't be afraid to recommend any game to me. Thank you, have a great and wonderful day, I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.